and welcome to Tenable, the show where naming a top ten can win you a top cash prize. For example, if I asked for the top ten most popular extreme sports and you said bungee jumping, you'd be bouncing your way into the final. But if you said ten-pin bowling, your teammates should go on strike. The more <laughs> top tens our team can beat, the greater their jackpot will be. So let's beat today's team. It's Disco Dave and his disco balls. Hello, Disco Dave and his disco balls. Hi. 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 So I reckon I could guess, but uh, why the team name? Well, I'm known as Disco Dave up I... and down the country amongst many friends, and um, these are all my friends, so they're my disco balls. Terrific. <laughs> OK, team, let's face the music and dance. It's time for Tenable. <laughs> OK, Disco Dave and his disco balls, it's time to release the first question. The ten largest countries beginning with S. So, Dave, as team captain, it's up to you to decide who's best equipped to tackle this top ten. OK. I'm going to go for Giles. Giles, please join me to play Tenable. <laughs> Giles, welcome to the game. Thank you, Warwick. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Very Excellent. well. So, uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a police officer. Are you? Yes. Excellent. It's a very snazzy shirt you're wearing. Thank you. I only get to wear black ones at work, so uh, it's, it's nice lovely. to, it's nice to it's get bright. All sorts of animals all over it. Yes. I suppose you're hoping for a list on animals and you could have used it like a cheat sheet. That, that <laughs> would be good, but I don't think this is working it's for It's not going to work. No. no. <laughs> now, you told us you enjoy Amdram, but once had a wardrobe malfunction. Yes, I needed to buy a pair of ladies' shoes at short notice because I was playing a, uh, a drag part. I needed to nip out in my lunch break and try them on. Mm. Unfortunately, I was in full uniform at the time. Oh. So <laughs> I got some strange looks in the shop. Now, look me in the eye, Giles, and tell me you weren't secretly delighted. <laughs> well... You're not looking at me. <laughs> Sorry, Warren. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Giles, time to play ball. Here's how the game works. You need five tenable answers to put £1,000 into your team's prize fund and guarantee your place in the final. So, are you ready to play tenable? I'm ready, Warwick. Fantastic. Here's your question again. The ten largest countries beginning with S... I'll clarify this for you. We're looking for the ten countries with the greatest area whose usual short-form name in English begins with the letter S. This is according to the CIA World Factbook Online as of March 2019. As ever, by country, we mean a sovereign state that is a member of the UN in its own right. Is that clear? Yes. Great. Good luck with this. When you're ready, give me a first answer. Thank you. I'm going to start with Sudan. Is Sudan our first tenable answer? Yep, there it is. Just under 720,000 square miles. Um, I'm going to try... Sweden. OK. Is Sweden tenable? Yep, there it is. So, have you done much travelling? Yes, been to a few places, um, yeah. America and uh, across Europe as well. Yeah, very nice. It's not helping me much with this, though. Isn't it? <laughs> um, Saudi Arabia. Is Saudi Arabia a tenable answer? <laughs> yep, there it is. Just under 830,000 square miles, that one. So you've got three correct answers on the board. You're two away from £1,000 and your place in the final. You still have your life. Three nominates, and uh, Disco Dave has the overall bump. I'm going to try Spain. OK, to take you one step closer to £1,000 and a place in the final, is Spain tenable? Yep, there it is. Spain, just shy of 200,000 square miles. So this is going really well. You've got four correct answers on the board. You still have your life. But this is your last chance to nominate and Dave's last chance to overrule here. OK. Um, 
I'm going to try for South Africa. So for £1,000 and to guarantee your place in the final, is South Africa our fifth tenable answer? fanfare means you've got five tenable answers and you've won a place in the final. Yes. We'll also add that £1,000 to your prize fund. Well done. So, how do you feel after that? I feel relieved now to, to have got five on the board. Excellent. Well, Giles, you can stop here if you wish, but there are still five countries up there left to reveal. If you think you know more, you can play on. Your next correct answer is worth £2,500. You've still got a life, so you can make one mistake, but any more than that will eliminate you from the game and will wipe the money you've banked. OK. So do you think you've got some more answers in mind? <sighs> there's some more, more S's I've got in mind. It looks like there's a couple of big ones up there, but um, I'll carry on, cos I've got the, the one mistake to make. I am going to say... Slovenia. So, for £2,500... Is Slovenia a tenable answer? untenable, Giles, so you've now lost your life. Be really careful here. Another untenable answer will mean you're taking a trip through the vortex and will wipe the money you've banked so far. That's not a chance I'm going to take. I'm <laughs> going to uh, I'm going to walk, if I may, Warwick. You sure about that? Yes. <laughs> we sit down, we'll reveal the names of these missing countries. Uh, team over there, any ideas? Syria. Serbia. Yeah, that would be a good Switzerland, maybe. No, I think that's Somalia. Mm. Somalia. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, what is behind number 10? It's Suriname. Uh, a bit less than 65,000 square miles. Number nine, Syria, Syria, which is what you said. Yeah. Number eight, Senegal. Number five, Somalia, Somalia. which I think someone over there country. said. Jesus, and number it? four, South, South Sudan. Sudan. Well, Giles, you've added £1,000 to your prize fund and you'll return later on to play for it in the final. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. So, team, look, you've got £1,000 in your prize fund. <laughs> Let's see if you can add to that. It's time to look at your next top ten. <laughs> top ten flowers in UK addresses. So, Dave, as captain, it's up to you to decide which team member is the best person for this one. I'll nominate Lisa, please. Lisa, it's time to play Tenable. <laughs> Lisa, welcome to the game. Hello, Ori. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Great. So, uh, you have a dog called Dexter. I do. Tell us about him. Um, he's a, a toy poodle Ooh. and uh, I enjoy walking him every day. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Does he have funny hair or does he just look normal? Well, he has got quite funny hair, has actually. Yeah. Is it cut into a poodle shape? He's a bit untidy at the moment. An untidy poodle? Yeah. He does needs he a need bit grooming, of a perhaps? He does, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. It's lovely a visit dog to the groomers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, Lisa, let's see if you can be the belle of these balls. Are you ready to play Tenable? I am, Warwick. Okay, here's your top ten. Top ten flowers in UK addresses. And I'll just clarify this for you. We're looking for the top ten flowers mentioned in the names of UK addresses. The flowers are in the names of homes and streets. This is according to information in a press release of May 2018 from the Royal Mail's Address Management Unit database. Is that clear? OK. All right, when you're okay, ready, okay, let's okay. get an answer on the board. OK, flowers. OK. I'll go for Rose. Rose. OK, let's see, shall we? Is Rose our first tenable answer? <laughs> there it is, the top answer. <laughs> in fact, there are over 24,000 Rose-related addresses in the UK. Oh, well okay. done. Let's go for another one, shall we, Lisa? Uh, OK. Let me think. 
How are you coming up with these? Are you thinking of places think, you know, I'm people thinking, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't know any roads that have got flowers in them, so I'm just going to try and think of some popular flowers and hope that they're up there, I think. Um, Heather. Ah. OK, let's have a look. Is Heather tenable? Yep, there it is. And it features in over 2,800 addresses. Good work. You've got two correct answers now. You're getting the hang of this, yeah? Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Lily. Lily. Let's have a look. Is Lily in this list? I'm afraid Lily was untenable. It's actually 14th in this list. It? So it only features around 720 times. So you've lost your life now. Be really careful. OK. Give me another untenable answer and you'll be leaving via my very unflowery vortex. I'm going to go bluebell. Yeah? Just going to go for it. Yeah. So this is to keep you in the game now. OK. Is bluebell tenable? was also untenable. Oh, okay. So, sadly, you haven't added any money to the prize fund and you haven't secured your place in the final. Bad oh. luck. Before we say goodbye to you, though, I'm sure you're intrigued to learn the names of these flowers. Team over there, any ideas from you? Lilac. Charles, as a police officer, you must hear loads of addresses. You know, somebody's <laughs> robbed something from that road. Get over there. There's a dog missing on whatever street. Funny enough, there is a Lily Street where I work. <laughs> <laughs> yes. OK, well, let's find out, shall we? What is behind number 10? Mayflower. Number 9. Daisy. Number 8. Honeysuckle. Number 7. Magnolia. Number 6. Lavender. Mm. Lovely scent, that, isn't it? Lavender. Yeah. And it keeps flies away. Grow lavender near your door, your back door, your front door, or in your window boxes. Mm. Flies will not come in. Oh, okay. I don't like the smell of it. Mm -hmm. Top tenable tip. <laughs> number five. Lilac. Mm -hmm. Number four. Jasmine. Jasmine. Mm -hmm. And number two is Primrose. Oh, yeah. Primrose. Primrose. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Well, Lisa, it saddens me to say mm -hmm. you are terrible at tenable. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye, Warren. <laughs> <laughs> Off she goes into the Vortex. That's an official trademark, by the way, the Vortex. I get one P per mention of the uh, Vortex. Vortex. <laughs> vortex. <laughs> right, after the break, the next member of Disco Dave and his Disco Balls will step up to their own tenable game board. Can they give us ten good answers? Stay there and you'll see. Vortex. <laughs> Welcome back to Tenable, where Disco Dave and his Disco Balls have been taking on a series of tough top ten towers. So far, Giles has made it through to the final and they have banked £1,000, but they have lost teammate Lisa. Let's get straight on with our next top ten. Top ten women on eight out of ten cats does countdown. So, Dave, who's the right person for this one? I'll nominate Mark. Mark, please join me to play Tenable. All right, Mark. Hello, Warwick. Welcome to the game. Thank you. How are you doing? Very well, thank Very you. Very well. You play in a band? I do. I play in a couple of bands. What's your musical claim to fame? Ooh, when I was 15, mm -hmm. I played at the Albert Hall. Did you? I did indeed. What did you play? Kettle drums. Impressive. You know, I played flute on the uh, Finger of Fudge advert. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Mark, it's time to strut your stuff. Are you ready to play Tenable? I am. Here's your top ten. Top ten women on eight out of ten cats does countdown. 
and I'll just clarify this for you. We're looking for the names of the 10 women to appear on the most episodes of the Channel 4 panel show, 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown. This is according to IMDb and is as of April 2019. Okay. So how do you feel about this question? Negligible. Do you watch the show? I do, I do. Let's get your first answer on the board. OK. First answer, I will go for Rachel Riley. OK, let's have a look. Is Rachel Riley our first tenable answer? Yeah, there she is. She's been in 108 episodes. Good work. Okay, thank you. Okay, next answer. Yep. Susie Dent. Susie Dent. Susie Dent. Is Susie Dent tenable? Yep, there she is. Having appeared in 111 episodes. Good right. start, two correct answers on the board. You've okay. still got your nominates, your life, and Dave has the overall button. OK. Right. Female comedians. Holly Walsh. Is Holly Walsh tenable? There she is. She's been in five episodes. So you've got Susie at the top, Holly at the bottom. OK. Now just time to fill in the middle. Right. You've got three correct answers, two away from £1,000 and your place in the final. You still have your life, your nominates, and uh, Captain Dave has the overall button. OK. So you looked a bit worried when you were first sent up for this, but you're doing really well. That's very kind of you, Warwick. You seem confident. Do I? Yeah. Yeah. As a good actor. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. I can see faces. But names, a little bit tricky. Um, all right, can I go for Joe Brand? So, to take you one step closer to £1,000 and a place in the final. OK. Is Joe Brand in this list? Joe Brand is untenable. Yeah. So you've lost your life now. OK. Be careful, Mark. Another untenable answer means you'll leave the game via the vortex. OK. Joe Brand has been in the show, but only on two episodes. Right. OK. Sarah Millican. So to keep you in the game, is Sarah Millican tenable? There she is. Well played. So you've got four correct answers now. OK. Just one away from £1,000 and guaranteeing your place in the final. This is your last chance to nominate and Dave's last chance to overrule. OK. In that case, can I nominate, please? Who would you like to nominate? I'd like to nominate Giles. Giles. Nice. So how's your knowledge of the women on 8 out of 10 cats does countdown? It's not good, I'm afraid. Um... I'm thinking of uh, female comedians. Um, and I think, like Mark, I'm, I'm struggling with some names. Um, Rasheen Connerty rings a bell. So Giles thinks Rasheen Connerty. Yeah. You don't have to take his answer. OK, I've got to go for Rasheen Connerty. You trust him? I do. OK, so for £1,000 and your place in the final, is Rasheen Connerty our fifth tenable answer? <laughs> yes! Well played. So that uh, glorious gong means you've got five tenable answers and a thousand pounds for your prize fund. Congratulations. And more importantly, though, it means you've won a place in the final along with your captain. And well done, Giles. Great use of the nominate there. Very impressive. Never let you down. <laughs> <laughs> now, you can stop here if you wish, but there are still five answers up there left to reveal. Your next correct answer is worth £2,500. So now you have a choice to make. Do you want to play it safe or do you want to play on? I've got one that I'm pretty sure, but 
I don't want to risk it. I think I'm going to take the money and go and sit back down. Well, it could be worth £2,500. Could be. Also, could be a trip into there. <laughs> no, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go and take a seat. Before you do sit down, yeah, yeah. let's reveal the names that I'm missing on this list. Team, any ideas? I would have said Catherine Howard. I think that's her last name. So, Mark, what was the name you had in mind? Sarah Pasco. Uh-huh. Let's have a look. Who's behind number nine? Victoria oh. Corrin Mitchell. Number eight. Kathy Burke. Oh. Number seven. Claudia Winkleman. Oh. Number five. Catherine Ryan. That's who I was That's thinking you. of. That's the one you were thinking of. <laughs> That's what I was thinking Ruth, of, yeah. yeah. Uh, number four. Sarah Pasco. Oh, yeah. That's who you said. So there you go. Well, Mark, you've added £1,000 to your prize fund, giving your team a total of £2,000. And you'll return later on to play fit in the final. Congratulations. Thank you, Warwick. Well done, Mark. <laughs> so, we have one more top ten for our team before Captain Dave faces his list and attempts to win back teammate Lisa ahead of the final. Their prize fund currently stands at £2,000, but can they add to that pot? Ruth, you're the only teammate left to play. So let's hope you're the right person for this one. Please join me to play Tenable. <laughs> Ruth, welcome to the game. Hello. <laughs> now, you sing and you once got a bit of a surprise when you turned up at a gig. Yeah, I mean, with these gigs, you don't know who these people are that are booking you sometimes. You've never been to the venue before, especially when it's a private party. Mm. And I turned up and it was in the middle of nowhere. I turned up to what looked like a clubhouse, opened the doors to find a room full of pensioners, mm. all dressed up as 80 superstars, you know, Madonna with the comb bras on and everything. It was <laughs> <laughs> turned out to be a great evening, but wow. it was a bit of a shock when I walked in. But you do realise that probably was Madonna. <laughs> uh, She's a lot more normal than people think. <laughs> OK, Ruth, are you ready to play Tenable? I am, Warwick. OK, here is your top ten. The first ten six-letter words ending in the letters G, L, E. OK, I'm going to clarify this for you. We're looking for the first ten words alphabetically in the dictionary that consist of six letters and end in the letters G, L, E in that order. This list is about words in Chambers' 21st century dictionary on chambers.co.uk. The tenable answers are words that have their own entry and are in blue on the website. This tenable list does not include hyphenated words, words with apostrophes, or any word that the dictionary spells with an initial capital letter. Is that clear? Yeah. Best of luck with this one. Let's get your first answer on the board. I'm going to go with bangle. Bangle? Yeah, as in like a bracelet, bangle. Thanks for the information. <laughs> Is bangle our first tenable <laughs> answer? There it is, at the top of this list. Welcome. You look very worried, Ruth. I'm worried about you. Thinking really hard about this. OK. This couldn't be a worse question for me. Really? You're not, you're not keen yeah. on words? I'm not very good with words. Well, thank um, Disco Dave for that one. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, Ruth. You're looking very sheepish <laughs> over there. Um, I'm going to say this one, I'm really hoping it's not too far down on the list. I'm going to say Tangle. That sound means your captain has hit the overall button, or as we're calling it today, the uh, murder on the dance floor button. <laughs> now, Dave, you don't like the sound of the answer. No, I did think of that word, but I think it might be too low down. Right, OK. Now you have to replace Ruth's answer with one of your own. Mm-hmm. I'll go for juggle. So you think juggle. Now, before we see whether that is indeed tenable, we have to find out whether your answer is up there. We're hoping it's not. Your original answer was? Tangle. Is Tangle tenable? <laughs> Looking good. It's untenable. Well done, Dave. Great use of the overall button there. Thank you. What do you think about that, then, Ruth? That's a good job, Dave. Press the button. <laughs> <laughs> So, let's hope you don't get in a tangle with Juggle. <laughs> right, let's see. Is Dave's answer up there? 
is juggle tenable. Oh dear, that was untenable. So juggle also too far down this list. So Ruth, you've lost your life now. Okay. Okay, hopefully that'll help you because you kind of know where your parameters are now, don't you? Okay, I've had a few come into my head, so... Oh, good. The next one I'm going to say is Goggle. Goggle. OK, so this is to keep you in the game now. Is Goggle tenable? is 11th on the list. Oh. Sadly, you haven't added any money to no. the prize fund and you <laughs> haven't secured your place in the final. Bad luck, Ruth. Mm. Oh, before we say goodbye, though, let's reveal these missing words, shall we? Our team over there, if she'd nominated, could you have helped? Boggle. Oh, I had Boggle was my next one. Uh, Bungle. Say. Well, let's have a look, shall we, see what these words were. Behind number 10... Giggle. Giggle. Oh. Oh. Not what you're going to be doing now, is it? <laughs> Number nine. Goggle. Goggle. Number eight. Gaggle. Number seven. Dingle. <laughs> That's a deep wooded hollow or dell. Number six. Dangle. Number five. Burgle. Something Giles would know all about. <laughs> Number four. Bungle. To do something carelessly or badly. Maybe uh, the story of this game, perhaps, for you. <laughs> Number three. Boggle. See, I, would just, I wish I'd have the said that now. The mind boggles. Why you didn't nominate. Number two. Beagle. Oh, Ruth, it saddens me to mm. say. You are terrible at tenable. Goodbye. Thank you. Right, after the break, Captain Dave takes on today's penultimate tower in a bid to bring back disco ballers Lisa and Ruth. Can our captain fill the dance floor once again? You'll see what happens if you stay right there. Welcome back to Tenable, where we've been testing Disco Dave and his disco balls on a series of tricky top tens. <laughs> There's just one more chance for the team to add to their £2,000 jackpot, and this time it's down to their skipper, Dave, to take on the tower. Now, Dave, as you're the captain, you'll definitely be taking part in the final, but this is your chance to get your team in the best possible shape before you play for the jackpot. Are you up to it? Hope so. Dave, it's time to play Tenable. <laughs> So, Dave, welcome to the game. Hi, Warwick. So, what's it feel like to be just left with two of your disco balls? <laughs> well, I think we've had some tough questions, so I think the girls have been very unlucky. So, you're a keen darts player. I love darts, yes. So I like playing and watching it. So, what's yes. your best ever score? I have hit one 180s, which is the highest score you can get. I've hit 181. 181? <laughs> Did yep. you use four darts? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Was I supposed to? <laughs> Not in the proper game of darts. Mm. <laughs> I hear you once got a little confused in the chippy. Well, yes, I was uh, with my friend Mark and uh, we were in uh, a chip shop in North Wales and I walked in and said, a bag of chips, please. And the lady said, wrapped. So I said, I've come in here for a bag of chips. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> OK, Dave, time to hit the dance floor. Just like in previous rounds, there's another potential £25,000 up for grabs. As always, you need five correct answers to get onto the money ladder. But this time, on your fifth correct answer, you'll have a decision to make. Take the £1,000 for your prize fund or forgo the cash to win back either Lisa or Ruth. Now, they're waiting in the wings, desperate to help you win that jackpot, but first you've got to win them back. You've got one life and your team have left you with two nominates. But, of course, because you're standing up here with me, you can't overrule yourself. Okay. So, here's your top ten. The ten solo acts with more than one track on Now That's What I Call Country. I'll just clarify this for you. 
We're looking for the 10 artists that have a solo credit on more than one track on the box set Now That's What I Call Country, which was released on the 24th of November 2017. We're not counting any performances by duets or groups, or by individuals when they are credited as part of a duet or group, or with their backing group. Is that clear? OK, yes. So how do you feel about that? Do you like a bit of country? It's not too bad. I do like country, but I don't have a lot of it in my collection, so I'm hoping I've got some names that will get the girls back. Absolutely. Good luck with this, Dave. Let's get your first answer on the board. Thank you. I'm going to start with Garth Brooks. Is Garth Brooks our first tenable answer? That's untenable. So that is a bad start. You've lost your life now. So another untenable answer means you won't have the chance to bring back any teammates or add any cash to the pot. I have more names in my head, so I'm not sure whether to use the nominator yet. I'll go with Kenny Rogers. It's a bit sort of way back, but I'm hoping that it will still be on there. OK, let's have a look, shall we? Is Kenny Rogers our first tenable answer? <laughs> yep, there's Kenny Rogers at number five in our list. Phew. Good work, Dave. So is the total embarrassment. Um, OK, I'll go with Willie Nelson. Go Willie Nelson? Yes. Is Willie Nelson tenable? There he is. Always on my mind and on the road again. OK, you've got two correct answers. Three away from that chance to bring back a teammate now. Don't forget those nominates. Yeah, I was just thinking, I have some more names in my head, mm. but I am going to see what the guys can come up with. So I'll nominate Mark. Mark. OK. How's your uh, country knowledge? Not the best, but... Can you help Dave out with an answer? I can give you a, I can give you a name, mm -hmm. say... Linda Ronstadt. Linda Ronstadt. Could be a good answer, that could, because she's a very popular female country singer, so... You don't have to take it, you can always bank it for later. Yeah, I could keep it till later, because I think I'm going to go for Shania Twain okay. instead. Is Shania Twain in this list? She is. Man, I feel like a woman. OK. You just tuned in. I was uh, quoting a Shania Twain <laughs> track. <laughs> Not commenting on her personal feeling. <laughs> Great, you've got three correct answers on the board. Two away from that money ladder, the chance to bring back a teammate or add £1,000 to the prize fund. You have lost that life, though. Need I remind you that you do still have one nominate? I think I'll use the nominate. I'll see what Charles can come up with. Ah, Giles, your turn now. Can you help out Dave? I think if Kenny Rogers is up there, Dolly Parton should be. OK, so Giles thinks Dolly Parton. Not keen on that answer. I think she may be on it, but I don't... Well... Staying on the female sort of scenario, I think I'm going to go for... Reba McIntyre. OK. To take you one step closer to bringing back a teammate or adding £1,000 to the prize fund, is Reba McIntyre tenable? Oh, dear. Well, sadly, you haven't added any money to the prize fund or won back teammates Lisa or Ruth.
but you're still in the final, so uh, let's see if you can do any better there. Before you sit back down, let's reveal the names of these missing artists, shall we? Who's behind number 10? Jim Reeves. Oh, that's going back a bit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> number nine, Elvis Presley. Burning Love and Green Green Grass of Home. Number seven, John Denver. Ah, oh, John Denver. Yeah, number six, Johnny Cash. Oh. Ring of Fire, I Walk the Line and Folsom Prison Blues. Number four, Glenn oh. Campbell. Rhinestone Cowboy, amongst others. Number three, Carrie Underwood. Oh. And number one, it's Dolly Parton. <laughs> Nine to five, Jolene and I will always love you. All those look familiar, yeah? They do now. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, Dave, you fail to add any money to the prize fund or bring back teammates Lisa or Ruth. But we'll see you back in the final. Let's hear it for Dave. <laughs> right, after the break, Captain Dave and two of his disco balls will tackle their final list. See how they do in just a few. Welcome back to Tenable, where Disco Dave and his Disco Balls have three players in the final and will be playing for the lovely sum of £2,000. Well, Disco Dave and his Disco Balls, to take home that prize, this time you're going to have to give me every answer up there and achieve a perfect ten. Now, Dave, as captain, you'll answer first. We'll then move down the line. If your answer is Tenable, you're safe and I'll move on to the next player. However, if it's incorrect, you'll be out of the game. Get ten out of ten and you'll be walking away with that £2,000. So how do you all feel? Speechless. <laughs> We're ready for this, aren't we? Well, yeah, that's terrifying. Yes. Yes. Yeah? You can do this, guys. We can. Well, Disco Dave and his Disco Balls, please step <laughs> forward now to face your final top ten. <laughs> for your final list, you have two categories to choose between. Let's take a look. Royal Family, <laughs> classic animation. So, team, what do you like the look of? What do you think, guys? I know nothing about the Royal Family. Classic animation, then? Yeah. I think by process of elimination. Classic animation, then Warwick it is. You've chosen classic animation. From this point on, there is no conferring. On your turn, you must say one answer and nothing else. Let's reveal your final top ten worth £2,000. The first ten animated Disney feature films released from 1950. We're looking for the title of any animated feature film released by Walt Disney Animation Studios from 1950 to 1973 inclusive. These are as listed on the DisneyAnimation.com website as of March 2019. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, then, Dave, please step forward now. And when you're ready, give me your first answer. Very sombre walk there, Dave. It's not my category, this is what we come afraid. So I'm going to go for Bambi. Is Bambi our first tenable answer? <laughs> oh, I'm afraid that's untenable. Bambi was released in 1942. OK. So, Dave, I'm afraid we have to say goodbye to you. OK, thank you. Good luck, guys. Thanks for playing. Giles, please step forward, sir. So, one of the two remaining balls. <laughs> You've lost Disco, Dave. Can you take it home for the team now? Um, was this the category you wanted? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> Who did want this? He didn't want it either, Dave. <laughs> was it you, Mark? Best of a bad bunch. OK. <laughs> um, I'm going to try The Lady and the Tramp. Is The Lady and the Tramp our first tenable answer? <laughs> yes, there it is. Well played, Charles. Mark, you're up next. OK. So, Lady and the Tramp was from 1955. 101 Dalmatians. 
is 101 Dalmatians tenable? There it is. From 1961. Well played, Mark. Giles, we're back with you. So it's a good start, guys. Well done. Two correct answers on the board. You're not getting a lot of time to think over there, though, are you? No. I'm going to try for the Aristocats. Is the Aristocats a tenable answer? Yep, there it is. That's from 1970. So, Mark, we're back with you, sir. OK. Got an answer in mind? Yeah. Jungle Book. Is Jungle Book in this list? Yes, it is. Well played. Thank you. Charles, you're up next. That film was from 1967. You've got four correct answers. You're six away from a perfect ten and that jackpot of £2,000. So that's three answers each. Oh, really struggling with this one now. Um, some of them I'm thinking of far too early. Um, I'm going to try... Well, might be a little too late. The, the Rescuers. Is The Rescuers a tenable answer? That's untenable. So we have to say goodbye to you, Giles. Good Thanks on. for playing. Thank you, Warwick. Mark, please step forward. So it's just you, me, and the tenable tower with yeah. these six missing answers. OK, OK. So we've seen it done from this point before on tenable. It's still possible. Robin Hood. Is Robin Hood tenable? <laughs> yep, there it is. That's from 1973. So your four merry friends are <laughs> supporting you from backstage, willing you on here. You're halfway through this list now. Yeah. Five answers stand between you, a perfect ten, and two thousand pounds. Okay. Cinderella. Is Cinderella in this list? <laughs> yep, there it is. So you've got uh, the oldest and the most recent. <laughs> so the right. oldest was from 1950, the most recent, 1973. So four answers now stand between you, that perfect ten, and two thousand pounds. Okay. How are you feeling right now? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Sorry, wonderful. Um. Okay. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs a tenable answer? was untenable. Too early for this list. Is it? A valiant effort, though. Unfortunately, you haven't managed to top the tower and you aren't going home with that prize money today. As the rest of the team join us, here they come. Let's take a look at those missing answers. Ladies, welcome back. Oh, Have you well uh, been inspired backstage? <laughs> Do you know any of these oh, answers? Could I not have had this round earlier? <laughs> <laughs> Ruth, tell us what's up there. I maybe would have said Dumbo. 
sword in the stone. Let's see, shall we? What's behind number seven? Sword oh. in the stone. Number five. Sleeping oh, Beauty. That's a surprise, Beauty. Yeah. From 1959. Number three. Peter Pan. Yeah. That was from 1953. And at number two. So Alice buy. in Wonderland uh, from 1951. Yeah. So there they are. You'll never forget those. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a fantastic Aww. team. Thanks so much for being here Thank today. You. Thank you, Warren. Thank you. Thank you. So there you have it. Disco Dave and his disco balls made all the right moves but lost everything in the last dance saloon. Bad luck, team. Join me next time when five more contestants play Tenable. Goodbye. With the 2020 Awards next Tuesday night, we're reminiscing tonight. We're looking at the Brits at 40 at 8. Stay with me this afternoon and see if the machine will pay out. It's Tipping Point, coming up next.